you will learn many important points with this one tutorial i saw this animation on pinterest uploaded by visual atelier let's learn on our channel thing sci-fi before starting the tutorial let's see what you are going to learn in this tutorial first we will add a plane then scale it then we will create a path with the help of bezier curve for this circle to move then we will create this path in the geometry node with the help of with the help of bezier curve then we will add spheres and move it in all the different paths and later on we will add material camera and the lighting also and for the blend file you will get it on my patreon page so please consider su support on patreon also select everything and delete it by pressing x key then add a plane by pressing shift a and scale it by pressing s10 press 7 for top view then add a bezier curve by pressing shift a hide the plane if the curve is not clearly visible select the bezier curve and press the tab key for going to the edit mode in this tutorial we will move multiple time between object mode and edit mode and the shortcut for moving in this two mode is tab key so if i told further in the tutorial to move in edit mode or object mode you can move by pressing tab key in both the mode select the upper point of bezier curve then press r then press and hold the control key and move your mouse until it make the curve a straight line then come back to object mode by pressing tab key then unhide plane again go to edit mode select the upper point of the bezier curve then press g x then press and hold the control key then move your mouse and set this point at the end of the plane similarly select the other point then press g x then press and hold the control key and move your mouse and set the point to the other end g is for moving and x is for specifying the axis so that the point do not move in any other direction only in the x axis after that again come back to object mode then make a duplicate of bezier curve by pressing shift d then again come back to edit mode then press a to select every part of the curve then click the right click on your mouse and select subdivide now there is three point on the bezier curve select the last point in the right side then click g x and move your mouse then adjust it at whatever point you want after this again come back to object mode Resolution of the curve is very low so go to the curve setting and increase the resolution of both the curve then again select the curve 001 and make one more duplicate by pressing shift d then again go to edit mode by selecting curve 002 then press g y and move the point then click then again press z x and adjust the point in the x direction you can also press and hold the control key this will also help similarly again come back to object mode make one more duplicate then come back to edit mode and adjust it as you done earlier in this way you can add as many as curve you want in this one direction only for the other direction i will give you a shortcut when you are done come back to object mode hide the plane for a while select the three twisted curve press 3 for the front view then press shift d then r 180 the opposite part is done very quickly as i told you then unhide the plane and see everything is correct or not we have to add depth to each and every curve manually so select the first one go to curve setting then geometry and apply a depth of depth of 0.15 similarly apply to all one more time hide the plane select all the curve then press m and create a new collection then give it a name we will use this in geometry node see all the curve are now in separate collection then unhide the plane again and select it then go to geometry node hide the collection then click new in the geometry node drag the collection in the geometry node then add a mesh boolean in between and connect the collection info to the mesh 2 of mesh boolean then add a transform node in between by pressing shift a add 0 0.01 in z translation and also play with the scale value in my case it is 0 0.102 before it before it add a solidify modifier move it toward the upper side now the geometry node is missing for that select the geometry node in modifiers property it will appear again only three paths are showing so play with the scale value now see according to our curve the path has formed now add set set smooth in between this will make it more sharp uncheck set smooth see see it is more sharper select the set set smooth and press m to mute the node 
you can see the changes. Press M again to unmute. Come back to layout and press 7 for top view. Add a sphere. Then reduce its scale value to 0.185. Then apply the shade smooth to the sphere by clicking the right key on your mouse. Also go to modi go to modified setting and apply subdivision surface to it. Then go to object constraint property and add follow path. Select Bezier curve on it. Add a value of minus 25 on offset. Then increase your timeline and reduce its end value to 182. Then add frame 1 on the timeline. Enter keyframe on the offset. Then go to frame 183. Enter minus 79.819. And again enter keyframe. This will add a straight motion in the on the sphere. Then again go to frame 1 and select the sphere. Then make a duplicate of it by pressing shift D. Select Bezier curve 001 in the target of follow curve, follow curve of circle 001. Our main goal is to add 7 sphere. And at this point they all appear as you see in the animation. Before that all the sphere look like they are inside the 1. But here after making a duplicate we can clearly see the two sphere at frame 1. So this is a little tough job. We have to adjust the start and end offset value of 3 sphere on the same side which is little bit time taking but it is a part of our work. Reduce the scale value of second sphere little bit. Now adjust the offset value at frame 1 until the second sphere get disappear completely inside the first sphere. If you are satisfied with the position then click right mouse button and select replace keyframe. This will replace the previous value with the current one. But it is still moving faster than the first sphere. For adjusting that we have to go to the frame 181 and now we have to adjust the offset value. We have to adjust the end offset value. The second sphere is moving faster than the first one. That's why we will reduce the value of offset. After adjusting the value click the right click on your mouse and select replace keyframe. Now go to frame 1 and play the animation. The sphere is still moving faster. Then we will again go to frame 181. Then again reduce the offset value. After reducing, click the right click on your mouse and select replace keyframe. Similarly, you have to do it again and again until you get the perfect animation. I made this animation two times and both the time the values are completely different. So that's why I cannot give you the perfect number so that you can apply it and enjoy the animation or tutorial. So you have to also work with me and find your best result when you get the perfect value. Then select the second sphere and make a duplicate of it by pressing shift D. Select Bezier curve 002 and play with the start and end offset values as we done with the previous sphere. If you get the perfect result with the sphere 002, then select it and make a duplicate of it by pressing shift D and again adjust the start and end offset value. This is the last sphere on which you have to adjust the offset value rest 3 sphere of the opposite side will be done automatically. When you are satisfied with your result, then select the sphere 002, make a duplicate of it by pressing shift D and on the target select Bezier 004. Similarly select sphere 002, make a duplicate of it and select Bezier 004 in the target. Select the sphere 003, make a duplicate of it and select Bezier 006 in the target. But there is a problem, sphere in the opposite side are in the downward. To solve it, we just have to make the Z, val Z location value negative in all the three spheres. Tutorial is getting bigger and complex. 
so we will talk rest of the things in the next part if you show your interest by liking the video and commenting